yeah. get into street proof. Yes. All other things being equal, we are hoping that by the end of year 2023, the numbers itself will speak for itself. The fiscal situation should improve. Inflation should be within the single digit band. John, this is it, the time it, that you are working not, with that. If I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I was setting a target for you, maybe as the it president. It's not about a time frame. Like I'm telling you, even this year, year on year, you see that our revenue is, we projected a 40% increase in revenue. Mm, and it has happened. No, year, for 2022. Okay. That is our target, that we're going to increase our revenues by um, 40% year on year compared mm. to what we did last year. So we're doing about 80, 80 billion of tax revenue mm. um, for this year. And we're setting for ourselves that we'll do uh, a growth rate of about 5.8%. Mm. We're setting for ourselves that we'll do... Diamond is quite optimistic that we'll do 6%. Well, um, from our indication and everything, this is what um, we have set for ourselves. We've okay. set for ourselves that the deficit will be around 7.4%. So we're already on track. Mm. We're not waiting for anybody. And in the in the medium term we are hoping that we'll bring our deficit levels back to five percent of mm. gdp so it's all set out and when you pick up our our, our budget you see in there this is what we hope to achieve so, so, so they, yeah that this will go a long way one to help in our debt sustainability will help with our physicals and then in the long run all the the kind of growth that we want to witness in the economy we're going to see that and it, it, it will not just take Moody's to tell us. All of us will feel it mm. and we'll see. It. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on there.